All right, round two of our Arrow Garden Bounty Seed Kit. I am soaking some of the sponges just in a jar of water that I'm gonna use. I got this little seed starting refill pack off of Amazon and I am starting to uh, pop in the pods and then my seeds. I'm just going one by one. I'm putting the pod in for the number of plants I'm gonna do. And then I am popping the seeds in and then I'm labeling it. And then I'll go to the next round of seeds. I have my little list here of what I'm going to be planting. And I'll go through everything and kind of pop up images of what they will look like. This is gonna be mostly flowers with some veggies as well. And I'll just kind of do a summary of it and then updates. Six, seven, eight. Good job. So put two seeds in per pot. Okay, and you wanna stick them in the little holes. All right, keep going, each pod. No, not that hole, not that one, not the ones with the little green stickers. Yeah, those ones empty ones. Right here. There you go. I actually put two. That's okay. No, you're supposed to put two. Because sometimes one, grab another one. Two? Mm-hmm. Grab two of them and put them in one little hole. Okay, did we get them all? Um, it looks like we have a couple we still need to do. We got two or three more pods to do. Two. Mm-hmm. Two. Yep, and then this last one. Where should it go? I think right there. Now let's do another one. Okay, hold on. Well, we gotta label these ones first and then we can do the next set. So we got a little stray action. Let's see, we'll put that guy in. Uh, was it this one that only had one? We'll pop another one in there. Yes, go ahead and soak. We need to put um, eight in there. Put eight little pods and soak them in there, okay? Okay. How are you soaking them? I'm going to put them down and soak them. Oh, it's a very good technique. It seems like it's working. Okay, um, so mommy's gonna label the ones that we just did and then we'll pop those in the holes and seed those. Now round two, everything is planted. And like before, I'll be putting up my little extra clear plastic dome here with the little saran wrap just for the first probably day or two just to help these guys germinate really well. I just wanted to go over real quick what I am planting. I am gonna be planting some Salmon Queen Zinnias. I got these seeds off of Etsy. I'm gonna plant seven of those. And then I'm also planting some Red Queen Lime Zinnias. Let's see, yes, this is the ones. I got these from Park Seed Company online. They kind of had these specialty zinnias that I wanted. And then I'm going to get the Zinderella Lilac Zinnia. And I'm gonna pop up some photos of these to kind of show you, some of these, I mean, they look impressive. So I'm really, I'm really excited about it. <laughs> um, and then I got the Zinderella Peach Zinnia. I kind of found out about the Zinderella, Zinderella one when I uh, was looking around on Instagram and I saw some photos and I was like, wow, those look amazing. And then I also have uh, some polar bear zinnias I will be planting about eight of those. They're just gonna be basic white zinnias, but I kind of wanted a white, peachy, um, pink color palette. And then I will also be planting some black beauty eggplants, which I got those off of Etsy as well from one of the vendors that I obviously go a lot to. And then I got some bell peppers from Seeds of Change, heirloom bell peppers. And then some milkweed. Now the milkweed I got, 
Let's see where I got these from. Where did I put them? Oh, I got this one from the same vendor, but it's swamp milkweed. So it kind of has this um, purple, maybe pinkish color palette versus the milkweed that I see a lot here in Florida has red and yellow flowers, and this one has purple and pink flowers. So I'm gonna see how they do well. They're supposed to be do really well, obviously, in like swampy environments. So in our summer season where it rains a lot, these might do really well. So I'm really excited about that. And then I also got some Proven Winners Strawberry Seeds. And it is the Everlasting Strawberry, the pink one. So these should be really, um, really pretty and also hopefully really tasty. Uh, they even came with, and I didn't know this, but they even came with this cute little label tag that I can stick in there. And I will be planting these strawberries in my new veg truck. I got a second one, and so I'll be planting that in my new veg truck as long, along with some bok choy because I really do like the bok choy. Um, we, we're going to go through a lot of that, and I need a lot of those plants. And then another thing that I'm going to be planting, I'm just going to plant this out on its own, is some shiso red um, plants. This is kind of a, I don't know if it's like a Korean or a Japanese plant. I think it's a Japanese plant, but you can use it in Korean and Japanese cooking. And it's just the red version. I already have a green version. So I wanted to kind of change up the color on that. But I'll do some updates on these. I probably won't do as an extensive as I did on my previous video, but I'm sure you guys are just as anxious to see how these flowers come out as I am because it's gonna be gorgeous. And then of course, of course, if you subscribe, you will see how these guys look out in action in my outdoor garden when they come. So here's the update on my little seedlings that started in the Era Garden Bounty. And you can see these zinnias are just banging out. I am gonna move them out today because they are blocking some of these other ones that either need light like this guy or aren't performing so well. Uh, so I'm gonna move all these flowers into my outdoor garden and leave these ones and we'll see how they go from there. As you can see, I even have a little strawberry popping up through there finally. So we'll talk about these other ones a little bit later more. Here we are in my outdoor garden and I'm going to be transplanting these zinnias that I just grew for my bounty. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of group them together, the different types, like the salmon queen zinnias, the red queen lime ones, the polar bear white ones. I have some lilac Cinderella ones. I was like, I'm going to kind of like patch and group them together. And we're going to see how this comes out. 